Hi, welcome to Streaky Mastering TV with me, Streaky G. Hope you had a good weekend. Today is about stereo width. Now, how to make things sound wide. When you're mastering, um, really, I don't really play a lot with any stereo width plugins or any stereo width uh, adjustments on desks that, that people have where, you, where it spreads the stereo information out. Because I always think it sounds a little bit weird and a bit bit out of phase. Out of phase is where it's kind of behind you and if you mono it then it disappears because it cancels each other each side out. I'll go on about phase at another another time but basically when you're doing mastering don't don't use plugins and if you do just a little tiny bit say 10% if you're on a desk or you know it depends what plugin you use into what settings but you can just widen it a touch but not too much. It always sounds great you go putting loads on but it's always bad. It's never good. It's like every time you get a new plug-in or any new piece of equipment, you'll always slam it to death and get as much out of it and think it's brilliant, but it really isn't. But So just use a little tiny bit, very sparingly, if you're going to at all. The better way to do it, I've found, is that I get an MS-EQ, and then I will, in the side of the, of the MS, the S of the MS, then which is usually the right-hand side, I will then just put... A little bit I will EQ a bit in uh, above say 5k just so it makes everything a little bit more sparkly in the top end but again I only use that sparingly and it's just to sort of just open it up a little bit I wouldn't say that if you open it up too much it just sounds sounds weird it does sound fun you know and it's like wow that's different but it's not great so don't do that um, and basically try and keep your your bass as mono as possible because uh, it always sounds better, it sounds better mono. So if you start spreading out the low end, it's going to start sounding really weird and it's not going to play well on speakers because they won't be moving correctly in the low end. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be strange and you definitely can't cut it to vinyl if it's got any kind of stereo information on. But, you know, cut, a good cutting engineer will always use an elliptical filter to, to mono the bass down to a certain level so you don't need to worry about it too much apart from the fact that your bass is going to start sounding a little bit thinner. So always when you're making your records try and keep the bass in the middle nice and strong solid bass in the middle and then just throw your pans out a bit you know if you're wanting to get a, a mix with some really wide stereo stuff don't just use a plug-in to go okay that fixes it it's suddenly gone wide just throw things out and move things about or maybe use some reverbs that are in stereo and, and, and making things sound wider. I'm not a, a professional mix engineer so I can't go into too much detail there but from a mastering point of view just a little bit, not too much. Uh, I hope that helps. Any other questions please ask me in the comments. Please subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.